as most of you know, the state of Maryland has a maintenance of effort requirement in which local jurisdictions are required to continue funding from one year to the next uh, local education at the same level. Um, under what circumstances would you consider requesting a waiver of the state's maintenance of effort requirement? Uh, Mr. Aquino. Is none an okay answer? <laughs> yes. um, I, I have a real problem with maintenance of effort. Um, what, it's, it's another one of those, and you, you learn a lot when you get on the board. I thought, I'd lo I, thought I knew a lot about public education as a, as a, a parent advocate. Um, but maintenance of effort is one of the least understood fa uh, aspects of school funding for the, for the general public. Uh, bottom line, it ensures a bare minimum of year-to-year -year funding based on headcount. Uh, school systems that lose enrollment are penalized under it. School systems uh, who are gaining enrollment actually lose also because the money does, doesn't come fast enough. There's lots of things that aren't included in maintenance of effort, and I wish I could, could even give, I'm sure maybe Mrs. French will be able to know that, but I know there are lots of things that are not included in, uh, in maintenance of effort. So I, I think as a, a very basic um, point of view, communities that are going to be satisfied with maintenance of effort aren't satisfied, are, should, should not, are, are really not supporting public education. Okay, Ms. French. Back in the 80s when I was PTA Council President, um, this law was being debated, and uh, I met one delegate who said that what frustrated them, the, ho the delegation or the delegates in the House of uh, the General Assembly, was that when the state gave money to the locals, the locals then supplanted the money and withdrew their local funding and spent their local funding on something else and therefore it remained, the funding for education remained static. So they came up with a maintenance of effort law to make sure that the local government would not withdraw their funding. This is fair. The state is putting money in to invest in education. They want to see education increase. And at maintenance of effort requires the local government to not go any lower than the previous year's spending per student. 